What's good, everybody? Sherman Webb, Middle Books, a lifelong Buffalo resident, a full time black man out here live on location. We on the block at the corner of Jefferson and Utica. I got me and my assistant, and we out here doing street interview for the No Menthol Buffalo campaign, sponsored by Stan Martin Associates, the Buffalo Center for Health Equity. This is the Win Initiative production. Come with me as we talk to the people and get their thoughts on menthol, menthol related tobacco, and whether or not the Common Council should ban the sale in the city of Buffalo. Come with me. My name's Chill Walker, zip code 14204. Okay, cool, cool. So would you just mind um, just sharing a little bit of, with us about your relationship to tobacco and if you smoke, um, and if you do smoke, do you smoke menthol tobacco? Yeah, I smoke menthol tobacco. Um, shit, I've been smoking for three years now. I had quit smoking for four years, but I had been smoking 10 years prior to that, quit smoking, and then started back smoking. So how do you feel about the fact that the, the big tobacco companies specifically market menthol tobacco to black communities and with menthol being harder to shake than um, non-flavored tobacco? I feel like they know what they're doing, you know what I'm saying, when they putting it, smacking it dead in the hood, you know what I'm saying? They know what they're putting in it to make a person get hooked, and this and the third, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the money. That's all they, it's all about the money. They don't give a fuck about our health for real. It's about the money. That's it. Word. And so what do you what do you think that the Common Council or that the city of Buffalo could do to support um, people who are smoking, who may be trying to kick their smoking habit um, or to deal with the tobacco companies? I mean, it's really not much they can do in reality because at the end of the day, ain't nobody forcing us to smoke. We smoke because we want to smoke. And they got little things on TV, oh, if you want to quit, this, that, and the third. Yeah. So it's really a person's choice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the Common Council, they, they probably is doing much as they could do. You know, putting different things out here that help you quit smoking. But it's really all up to you. This shit is really all a mind game. Mm. It's about mind and it's about money. That's right. it. Do you think that the community could benefit from investing in helping people um, deal and work through their mental health to help them um, to, to stop smoking tobacco? Because it sounds like you're saying it's, it's, it's actually like a mental health issue as well with folks um, needing just a way to escape or, or relax and we could benefit from supporting folks in that way. I mean, with the whole mental health thing, they got a whole lot of different things for the uh, for the mental health that ain't got shit to do with cigarettes okay. so if they gonna work on that they need to work on that but fire cigarettes it's it's a mental thing either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it nobody's forcing you to do it you're gonna do it or you're not so okay my, my last question is do you support the common council in banning the sale of menthol related products in the city of buffalo should to be honest i'm not gonna say that i'm a smoker what you mean? I mean, let's, let's, let's I mean, keep it real. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, oh hell yeah, bandit. Hell no, nah, because if I come here, I can't get my new purse. It's gonna be a problem. Okay. See what I'm saying? I gotta exactly. think about it like that. All right, Thank my you, guy. I appreciate your time. Thank you, man. How you doing? My name Malcolm Murray. My zip code is one four two one four. So, um, could you just talk to us a little bit about like your experience with menthol and, and tobacco in general? Um, when I was younger, you know, growing up in the inner city of Buffalo, just exposed to it everywhere you go. You know, mama smoking, grandma smoking, cousin smoking, everybody smoking cigarettes everywhere you go. People in the corner smoking cigarettes. I got exposed to it at a young age, around 16. I smoked cigarettes until I was about 28. Okay. And when you smoked, what, what kind of cigarettes uh, did you smoke? Um, Newport 100s. Newport you know, 100. Regular. Okay. So what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the fact that the tobacco companies market towards black people in our community the most and that 85% of black smokers smoke menthol tobacco as composed to our white counterparts? It's because uh, the daily pressures that we deal with, they feel like they can exploit those things because growing up naturally without the, without the needs and the means to be able to support yourself or your family, you automatically on welfare or something like that. You know, that's a stress within itself. So people have to lean on something. If it's not drugs, it's not that. It's, it's tobacco. That's, that's worse than drugs. That's worse than all the other stuff that's put out here in the streets. Well, I, I wouldn't say worse, but it's 
more cause of cancer and deaths in communities of our nature more so likely than you know our counterparts or other people of different colors so well i definitely appreciate that so we're asking the common council to ban the sale of menthol related products in the city of buffalo do you think a ban on menthol related products in the city of buffalo would benefit our community if so how um, I wouldn't say that would be the end-all be-all. It might be a step, but somebody, like everybody going to have to, somebody will look for that that need somewhere, whether it's from menthol or drugs or, you know, some people work out, some people, like people just have to learn how to express themselves in different ways. Like some people just sit down and smoke a cigarette. That relaxes them, that calms them down or so their minds tells them that, you know what I mean? Like it's not actually doing anything but destroying the inside of your body. But people just have a different, everybody have a different, you know, way of coping and different things. So. I do believe that menthol and all that stuff could be taken out the area because there are kids as young as 12 years old right now smoking cigarettes for no reason like because they think that they're stressed and all that stuff and they don't even understand life yet so Word. and and it's so easy to access a cigarette or get get access to a dutch or anything that, like that so you know and it's just crazy like you know because we can't we can't stop people from we can't stop the stores from actually you know promoting these things or selling them i say i like the stores don't have the big old cigarette signs out no more like when we were kids yeah remember the cool the, you see the cool thing and they the lady on the back of the dude back they smoking cigarettes like they having fun like yeah like, that's this is what was smoking a cigarette fun <laughs> i don't know but that is definitely how they marketed towards us like when we was coming up that like smoking a stove was cool like you said um well, yeah, I th you definitely gave us a lot, brother. Anything else that you care to like share or add before you get up out of here? Man, just put the guns down, man. There's other ways to handle your grief, your problems, anything that you got, man. Just talk to somebody and listen. Lean on somebody. Lean on each other, man. We all here for each other. It's one community, one life, one love. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Have a good one. You too, man. Well, just give me um, your name and your zip code, if you don't mind. Okay, my name is Gina, and my zip code is 14215. Okay, cool, cool. So we're here with Gina. Um, and I'm just wondering, what are your thoughts um, on menthol and menthol tobacco? First, menthol, I know that it's supposed to be harsher than the regular cigarettes, but none is good for you, period. Last question, do you support the Common Council in a ban of the sale of menthol-related products? Yes, I do. What are your thoughts on how the tobacco companies are targeting the sale of menthol to young people like yourself through like vapes and e-cigarettes and menthol flavored tobacco. That joint, that joint bad. That joint real bad. I don't do that. I don't do that. So Word. we're just asking folks um, about their relationship to tobacco. Um, are you a tobacco smoker? I used to be a smoker. But I'll quit. Like okay. it's been like almost six months. Awesome. Okay. So so what what caused you to quit? Why did you end up quitting? My health. I uh, get a uh, severe rick sinus, and I tried to smoke when I was get, when I was sick, and I can cut it. All the time that I held it, the cigarette, <laughs> I was getting choked, you know, choked, and and I I drop it. I, you know, I started when I was nine years old. Wow. I'm 40 now. Wow. Um, and I decided to quit when I'm at my age now, 40. Wow, so no, that's very powerful. That's that's the kind of story that, that we're really looking for. Um, just so when you did smoke, um, did you smoke menthol or non menthol? Um, Newport menthol. You smoke so you did smoke so do you think that kicking the menthol was harder than like maybe if you was doing non menthol tobacco? Um menthol is more stronger than non menthol. But I think both do the same thing. To me, you know, both do the same thing because I try mental without mental, and they do both things. So, do you think that people in our city would benefit from the Common Council banning the sale of menthol-related uh, tobacco products? Uh, <laughs> what I can say in there. <laughs> so, it's your honest opinion, whether it was just by what you think. To me. I can tell you about that. They had to stop selling it. They had to stop selling it because the health in people is not good. My opinion and that. I appreciate that. Anything else that you want to share? People, please quit. Quit. This is good. I'm approved on that. Now I got energy for run. Now I got, I can, I can breathe. Before I cannot even do like this. It's not a coughing. 
You know, the cigarette make you at the time when your lungs no one no more, it started, you start coughing like, <coughs> you know, that's not good. Word. And I recommend to people to quit. Word. So how how were you able to quit? Maybe somebody out there can learn from your story and what you, what you chose to do. Um, this is coming from your stomach. This it has to be like you wanted to do it mentally because the, everything is mental. And when you want to quit, you quit and that's it. Now mm. one or two, I'm gonna quit, uh -uh, and then go you go back. No, drop it for one shot. Drop it. Thank you so much for your time. I Thank appreciate you. you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. This was perfect. And please, people, listen. This. this is real. I'm telling. This is my experience. I can bring you all the people that know that I would smoke like almost two pack of Newport a day, wow. and not good. Now I'm healthy. Now I'm feeling good. Now I'm approved for that. Word. So that was good that God put me in this predicament. Yeah, this is excellent. See, and you and you was like, why you interview me? You was acting like you didn't have a story. You had a tremendous story. I had a tremendous story. Yeah. I, I'm a proof of that. Yeah, you're exactly the person that we're looking to get the story and have I them know, share. And this is real. It's real. Yeah. We had to be healthy. Right. No matter why, because this is anxiety. The secret is anxiety. You know, people get anxiety. They want to smoke. It, I used to have it. So now it's no more cigarette, no more. Yeah. <laughs> Done. You you looking happy and you looking healthy too. Yes, and look my skin it started getting clear, my eyes and the bottles are getting clear, it was dark. Mm. The cigarette. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now I'm good. Word. You heard it here. Remind us of your name again. Odalis Toledo. Word. Y'all heard it from Odalis, y'all. Yes. Y'all heard it from Odalis. Have a good one. Word. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank, thank you, you so again. Much. Have a good I one. I hope you can find more people. So um, I'm Chantel Patton, and I actually live right over here in 14208. Word. So, uh, Miss Chantel, the brown bag lady. So, what are your thoughts on menthol and menthol tobacco? Are you a smoker, or did you ever smoke before? I'm proud to say that I'm actually no longer a smoker. Um, it's something that I definitely found was taking a toll on my health, my skin, my hair, my nails, my weight, and the people around me. So what were some of the specific things you did in order to kick the smoking habit? I actually quit cold turkey. I put it down. My daughter, um, who was around maybe three or four at the time, um, I noticed her coughing. And at that point, I said, you know what? This is beginning to affect my children. Um, maybe it's something I should put down. And so I did. So I guess uh, the question that I should be asking is, how did you become a smoker? Um, at what age did you start and why did you start? Uh, somewhere towards the end of high school, so like maybe 17, 18-ish, and it was kind of to look cool. Everybody else around me was doing it. It became a habit that um, that was born out of trying to be part of the crowd. And when you smoke, what kind of cigarettes or tobacco did you smoke? Did you smoke menthols? Newports, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. All them ports that get us all types of in trouble. Okay. So... That seems to be a, a common theme of folks, um, especially black folks. What are your thoughts on the tobacco companies targeting menthol tobacco in the black community with 85% of black smokers smoking menthol tobacco as, as opposed to our white counterparts? I think that we both know that you know the system doesn't protect those that it wasn't designed for. So we're sitting in a situation where these are things that the powers that be know attack our systems. They attack our lungs, our respiratory systems, our hearts, things of that nature. And what better way to keep individuals strapped down and, and down on their luck than mm. to keep their health um, on, on less than power conditions? Mm. You know, if we can figure out how to make sure that they're coughing and they're sick and they're calling off from work and they need extra 15 minute breaks mm. and now they're in trouble at work for those extra 15 minute breaks, what better way to continue to oppress those than to give them things that look cool but aren't? Ooh, ooh, okay, that, that's a bar. Um, so I guess I'm gonna get you out of here on this one. Um, do you support the Buffalo Common Council in banning the sale of menthol and menthol-related uh, tobacco products? Absolutely. Um, I have children, I have a grandchild, and what 
I don't want is for any of them to be enticed by the ads that are put out, by the fact that these things are so easily accessible, that even though they're supposed to be ID'd for them, nobody's really asking. So if we can remove those uh, temptations altogether, then there's you know a little bit more hope for a healthier next generation for us. Awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to add regarding uh, menthol, tobacco use, and or banning its sale in the city of Buffalo? It was never meant for us. It was only meant to keep us down so we can chuck it. Then we can be able to give, you know, a big F you to the powers that be, and we can become stronger together. All right. I love you, black woman. Thank you. I love you, you. black man. It looks like you lost another.